Hello everybody, I'm going to explain how the, the planning consult service in BIM Server works. Uh, the planning consult service gives advice on which elements have the highest risk on failure during your, uh, during your project. Um, what you need in order to, uh, to get the planning consult uh, work is an event log of previous projects, which I have here for example. It's an event log containing uh, events of specific building elements. Um, durations, task names, and if those tasks were executed on time or too late. So this is the file you need. And you need of course an IFC file which can be used as input. So you can use your new project in here for example. Um, the output which we generate is, uh, is twofold. First we have a visualization of the model as you can see here with all the um, risk identified in colors, so the green ones don't have any risk and uh, are were processed um, in a good way in previous projects, but the orange or yellow ones have a higher risk. Uh, as you can see here, there are no um, elements with a red label, red color, so there are no elements with the highest risk. And elements which are not recognized in the database um, are colored green. So this is one output and the other output is a planning consult, is a planning advice on how you can make specific elements. So uh, for example, as you can see here, this is the output. Uh, as you can see here, the roof is not recognized in the database. And we have for example this window element. Uh, there's one window element in your project and we have 36 in our database. So uh, in those database we see that you have two tasks to, um, to do in order to make your windows. And these are the risks identified according with this, those tasks. Okay, so how can you make this yourself? So uh, you start a BIM server and you make a new project. For example, planning consult tutorial. And I'm gonna add some services. Add the planning consult. I'm gonna add also the visualization service. Add visualization. Now I have to uh, in, uh, set in some settings. So I'm going to internal services and I'm going to uh, planning consult. And as you can see here, the, he asks for an event log. So I'm gonna put the event log in there. So this is the event log as, as I showed you before, this one. He uses this one, this event log, uh, to give planning advice or to give a planning consult. Um, as you can see here, I can uh, give in some code um, and a material. And what this mean, mean by that is this is uh, the parameter where you can find the material. So there are a lot of models out there and every model uh, has its own place of storing the material parameter. And I'm going to search for uh, which, which parameter I will need in order to find the correct materials. And for example, I've got here this wall selected and I see at the property or the parameter type, it's a, a brick wall and this is the material. Uh, which I'm going to look for, so I'm going to look in the, in the parameter type and I can um, give some advice on which elements should be uh, should be searched for in the database. So save this one and I have to do the same for uh, the planning consult visualization. As you can see here, I, I already did this. So you have to put in the same event log and you have to put in the same parameter and you have to put in the same materials which you uh, will consult. So save and I'm going to go to my project, the tutorial and now I'm going to check in a new model and this new model is automatically uh, checked by the planning consult services. So check in, I will choose a file and I will search for this project and check in my project 
and as you can see here this is my model and I have some visualization so the windows in this project and the doors have the highest risk and if I want to see how I can make this project or how I can make specific elements I'm going to uh, the extended data and I download the planning consult and as you can see here this is the advice the planning consult gives so I have to make for example the doors this is a door element and there are two steps in making the doors and the last step uh, has the highest risk then uh, floor element two steps no risk at all uh, a wall and a window so this is the output you get from the planning consult maybe it's not perfect but it is the first step into automating uh, planning and identifying risks risks out autonomously so uh, i hope this inspires you and maybe it uh, inspires you to make more applications based on this system so based on event logs and based on IHC models so this was this tutorial thanks for watching if you have any questions please subscribe